Hey, welcome back. Now, scores of Ghanaian students in Italy have been stripped of their scholarship and many more face possible denial of a massive visa fraud discovered by the Italian embassy in Ghana. Now, every year, the Italian embassy validates the document of Ghanaian students on scholarship in Italy to enable them keep their scholarships. The documents students submit for the scholarship are mainly an affidavit from the Supreme Court and proof of family composition and income based on tax clearance certificate from the Ghana Revenue Authority. But only the latter needs validation. But this year, some Ghanaian students in Italy took to Facebook, the Facebook page of the Italian embassy in Ghana, lambasting the embassy for causing their scholarships to be cancelled and or delayed. We have seen numbers uh, growing incredibly from about two, three hundred uh, um, applications a year up to uh, nearly 1,500 uh, this year, which is a, an unnatural number, uh, according to us. Uh, we believe uh, that there's been some pushing factors. We have investigated further, and we have realized that there is a ring of, uh, of people who use uh, student visas as a way of uh, uh, f facilitating uh, irregular migration, basically. So there's a ring uh, telling students how to apply for a student visa and uh, uh, telling them which university and how and, and, and when and how much to pay. And, you know, when it is... Uh, a normal way, the normal network among students, that's perfectly fine. When become, it becomes an organization that provides uh, fake documents uh, and, and teaches you how to, uh, to cheat the system, that's no longer good. So, okay, so, so you, you, you definitely have discovered that some students who, who, are, who are schooling in Italy now may have had some, some of their documents faked. So because, to, to obtain visas. So what is the fate of those students now? Well, uh, th th there are cases where we have uh, uh, made a certain for sure that uh, their documents were fake. Uh, mostly uh, they are uh, statements by the Ghana Revenue uh, Agency. We have uh, established that a number of them are fake. And uh, in those cases, we have reported uh, people wanted to use them to the uh, authorities in Italy uh, and it will be up to them to decide uh, what that means. Uh, in some cases it could, be, it could mean a criminal prosecution, in other cases would be that they will not get the benefits that they were uh, willing to get, which is the scholarship. They will not be able to get the scholarship. In those cases, those who uh, got uh, or presented fake documents. And that's the Italian ambassador to Ghana. Now joining me in studio now is Adom News editor Nina Kodowuna uh, with some more details on uh, what we've heard. Uh, thank you. Good morning. Uh, and let's bring some more clarity to what yeah, we've morning, heard. Morning. First of all, what kind of scholarship system are we talking about? You know, you know the, 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 it's probably an Italian uh, scholarship. You know, the Italians have a policy where they're trying to internationalize their universities. So, so they're teaching me some of their subjects in English, and they're saying that this is very good for Ghanaians. So what they do is that they bring people from outside in, and, and, and they give them scholarship. And according to the Amazon, they treat them like, they treat them like Italian students. There's no discrimination between Ghanaian students and Italian students in Italy. So they treat you, and so when you come in, they give you free, free accommodation, and uh, uh, free accommodation and then free food, so feeding, so you have accommodation and feeding, mm -hmm. and, and, and according to them, even the the money you pay is just equivalent to about four thousand Ghana cities here okay. in Ghana as for for your masters for, mm. for who you know. So so it's, it's it's something that the Italians are doing to sort of help. Mm. So what do you need in order to be qualified, essentially? A number, a number of documents. A number of documents. Um, uh, you you need to show proof that that you are Ghanaian first of all. Then you need to show. The, where the community you come from, you need to go to the assembly to give you a certain document to show that you actually live there. And then there's what they call the family composition. So you need mom, father, 
uh, 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 what do you call it, siblings, and then this is the income. Mm -hmm. So now when they look at the income and they look at the family size, then they can say, okay, this income size with this family, then you cannot pay for your fees. Okay. Then you qualify for a scholarship. And, and these fosters are able to tell, you know, coach people what kind of figure you can state to convince the... the, the in order to look vulnerable exactly. and to fall within the bracket so exactly. that you can but, get the scholarship. But, but, but so that it will not just be a word of mouth, you have to go to the Ghana Revenue Authority and get a, a, a tax clearance certificate mm. to show that this is actually your income. Okay, and this this is the document that they've been faking because that is the one that the embassy validates. Because for affidavit and anything, the embassy cannot do much about it. But the tax clearance, that's this that's the one they fake because that's the one that needs validation. And and this comes in they do every year because even though you submit, uh, let's say you submit for this year, next year then you need to bring another tax clearance to show that your income, has, your parents' income, haven't gone up. To then so that you continue to enjoy the scholarship. Okay. Yeah. So and they keep fake. They, so every every year they go and they fake, mm. and they are paying huge monies. Mama, Mama, they are paying. They are paying between thousand uh, euros to three thousand uh, three thousand eight hundred fifty euros to these fosters to be faking these documents for them every year, so that they will qualify for for. Where for are the fosters? Because this is a Ghana Revenue Authority we, documentation. We will be able to find one name. A certain gentleman called George in Italy. He's Italian and he's Ghanaian. And he's the, he's the ringleader. And he's working with other people in Ghana. So many people in Ghana. One name that we've also found is a certain guy called Sadat, who has been named as a master signature faker. He can fake a signature and they say that he can fake it so well. He, he, he has fake it so well that people get visas based on the signature that he fakes. But, but, but let's be clear, these are not people who work with the Ghana Revenue Authority. No, no. No, but 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 well, you, we can only imagine that they are probably working with people. But what we have found is that one one a gentleman actually reported to the Italian embassy, having after having paid so much to the fosters and not getting the visa, he now went to the Italian embassy and reported and said that this is what is happening to me. And he measured the money he's paid, mm. something that is supposed to cost him a that certificate is supposed to cost him like one CD. He paid four hundred Ghana CDs for it. He went to another place, something that is supposed to call him five cities, he paid about 300 cities for it. So they are paying all kinds of people. Do we, do we know of why they are not going directly to the GRA to get the certificates? Maybe because the amount that they are supposed to state, if, they are, if GRA is supposed to give the exact amount that is in the, in the account of the one that is, that is seeking for the task clearance, then it, it may not qualify them for the, for the, for the, for the, the scholarship. Or if it's also too small, it will not qualify for the visa at all. But if it is very high too, then you will not qualify for scholarship. Mm -hmm. So you have to find somebody who will fake a certain amount that then will qualify you for both the visa and the scholarship. So that is why they don't go uh, and, get many, the, and get a genuine document. How many students are on the scholarship as we speak? We know there are about 1,000, per what the, the ambassador said, there are about 1,000 Ghanaian students in, 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 uh, in Italy. So far, from what I know from the students themselves, about over 100 of them have been affected so far. Be why? Because those are the ones that have been investigated and now they have been given issued letters and, and been told that leave the dormitory, you are no more going to give you food, pay back the money that you have earned so benefited so far. Some mm -hmm. of them have been asked to pay about 4,000 to 5,000 euros back. And if they can't? And if they can't, they are out. They've been thrown out of the dormitories. They've been thrown out of the dormitory. If, if they can't, well, the Italian ambassador said they have been, the matter have been handed over to prosecutors mm. in Italy. So down, now they are going to prosecute some of them. But they, in the meantime, they've been thrown out. So we know about 100 of them, but the investigations are still going on. So it looks like more students are now mm. going to suffer. Finally, what does the embassy in Ghana intend doing about this? Uh, the, the, the Ghana embassy, the, you mean the... The Italian embassy, embassy in, Ghana, in Ghana, because that's, that's the, where you go... They have said that they are going to be reporting the matter to prosecutors here as well. And they are working with whoever they can to make sure that they trace this process. Okay. The process may be running away, but... But have, have, have we made any arrests no, the, so far, with these names that we have? So far, no, so far no arrests have been, have been made. You know, because, because it looks like they work, they, they work through people. You, you, even the students probably don't even, don't even get to see them. You know, so so that's, that's where we are now. Okay. All right, yeah. Nate, we'll be following this matter very closely and we'll certainly bring you the latest on this.